In chemistry, the molar mass m is a physical property defined as the mass of a given substance chemical element or chemical compound divided by the amount of substance. The base SI unit for molar mass is kilogram per mole. However, for historical reasons, molar masses are almost always expressed in gram per mole. As an example, the molar mass of water, m H2O, approximately equals 18.015 g per mole. Molar masses of elements The molar mass of atoms of an element is given by the standard atomic weight of the element multiplied by the molar mass constant, μ 1 times 10−3 kg per mole 1 gram per mole m h 1.00797 times 1 gram per mole 1.00797 gram per mole m s 32.065 5 times 1 gram per mole 32.065 gram per mole M C L 35.453 2 times 1 gram per mole 35.453 2 gram per mole M Fe 55.845 2 times 1 gram per mole 55.845 gram per mole, multiplying by the molar mass constant ensures that the calculation is dimensionally correct. Standard relative atomic masses are dimensionless quantities, i.e., pure numbers, whereas molar masses have units, in this case, gram per mole. Some elements are usually encountered as molecules, e.g., hydrogen, H2, sulfur, S8, chlorine, Cl2. The molar mass of molecules of these elements is the molar mass of the atoms multiplied by the number of atoms in each molecule m h2 2 times 1.00797 7 times 1 gram per mole 2.01588 14 gram per mole m s8 8 times 32.065 5 times 1 gram per mole 256.52 4 gram per mole m cl2 2 times 35.453 2 times 1 gram per mole 70.906 gram per mole Molar masses of compounds The molar mass of a compound is given by the sum of the standard atomic weight namely, the standard relative atomic mass of the atoms which form the compound multiplied by the molar mass constant, μ m sodium chloride. 22.989769282 2 plus 35.453 2 times 1 gram per mole 58.443 2 gram per mole mc12h22011 12 times 12.0107 plus 22 times 1.00794 plus 11 times 15.9994 times 1 gram per mole 342.297 gram per mole, an average molar mass may be defined for mixtures of compounds. This is particularly important in polymer science, where different polymer molecules may contain different numbers of monomer units non-uniform polymers. Average molar mass of mixtures 
the average molar mass of mixtures m display style bar m can be calculated from the mole fractions x i display style x underscore i of the components and their molar masses m i display style m underscore i m equals i x i m i display style bar m equals sum underscore i x underscore i m underscore i it can also be calculated from the mass fractions w i display style w underscore i of the components 1 m equals i w i m i Display style one bar m equals sum underscore i frac w underscore i m underscore i. As an example, the average molar mass of dry air is twenty eight point nine seven grams per mole. Related quantities. Molar mass is closely related to the relative molar mass of a compound, to the older term formula weight FW, and to the standard atomic masses of its constituent elements. However, it should be distinguished from the molecular mass also known as molecular weight, which is the mass of one molecule of any single isotopic composition and is not directly related to the atomic mass, the mass of one atom of any single isotope. The Dalton, symbol Da, is also sometimes used as a unit of molar mass, especially in biochemistry, with the definition 1 Dalton. 1 gram per mole, despite the fact that it is strictly a unit of mass 1 Dalton. 1 U equals 1.660538921 times 10 minus 27 kilograms. Gram atomic mass is another term for the mass in grams of one mole of atoms of that element. Gram atom is a former term for a mole. Molecular weight (Mw) is an older term for what is now more correctly called the relative molar mass, Mr. This is a dimensionless quantity i.e. a pure number without units equal to the molar mass divided by the molar mass constant molecular mass The molecular mass m is the mass of a given molecule it is measured in atomic mass units amu or daltons da Different molecules of the same compound may have different molecular masses because they contain different isotopes of an element the molar mass is a measure of the average molecular mass of all the molecules in a sample, and is usually the more appropriate measure when dealing with macroscopic quantities of a substance. Molecular masses are calculated from the standard atomic weights of each nuclide, while molar masses are calculated from the atomic mass of each element. The atomic mass takes into account the isotopic distribution of the element in a given sample usually assumed to be normal. For example, water has a molar mass of 18.0153 g per mole, but individual water molecules have molecular masses which range between 18.010564-6863-15 U 1H2160 and 22.027-7364-9 U D2180. The distinction between molar mass and molecular mass is important because relative molecular masses can be measured directly by mass spectrometry, often to a precision of a few parts per million. This is accurate enough to directly determine the chemical formula of a molecule. DNA synthesis usage 
The term formula weight FW has a specific meaning when used in the context of DNA synthesis, whereas an individual phosphoramidite nucleobase to be added to a DNA polymer has protecting groups and has its molecular weight quoted including these groups. The amount of molecular weight that is ultimately added by this nucleobase to a DNA polymer is referred to as the nucleobase's formula weight, i.e., the molecular weight of this nucleobase within the DNA polymer, minus protecting groups. Precision and uncertainties The precision to which a molar mass is known depends on the precision of the atomic masses from which it was calculated. Most atomic masses are known to a precision of at least one part in 10,000, often much better the atomic mass of lithium is a notable, and serious, exception. This is adequate for almost all normal uses in chemistry, it is more precise than most chemical analyses, and exceeds the purity of most laboratory reagents. The precision of atomic masses, and hence of molar masses, is limited by the knowledge of the isotopic distribution of the element. If a more accurate value of the molar mass is required, it is necessary to determine the isotopic distribution of the sample in question, which may be different from the standard distribution used to calculate the standard atomic mass. The isotopic distributions of the different elements in a sample are not necessarily independent of one another, for example, a sample which has been distilled will be enriched in the lighter isotopes of all the elements present. This complicates the calculation of the standard uncertainty in the molar mass. A useful convention for normal laboratory work is to quote molar masses to two decimal places for all calculations. This is more accurate than is usually required, but avoids rounding errors during calculations. When the molar mass is greater than 1000 g per mole, it is rarely appropriate to use more than one decimal place. These conventions are followed in most tabulated values of molar masses. Measurement Molar masses are almost never measured directly. They may be calculated from standard atomic masses, and are often listed in chemical catalogs and on safety data sheets SDS. Molar masses typically vary between 1 to 238 g per mole for atoms of naturally occurring elements 10 to 1000 g per mole for simple chemical compounds 1,000 to 5 million grams per mole for polymers, proteins, DNA fragments, etc. While molar masses are almost always, in practice, calculated from atomic weights, they can also be measured in certain cases. Such measurements are much less precise than modern mass spectrometric measurements of atomic weights and molecular masses, and are of mostly historical interest. All of the procedures rely on colligative properties, and any dissociation of the compound must be taken into account. Vapor density The measurement of molar mass by vapor density relies on the principle, first enunciated by Amadeo Avogadro, that equal volumes of gases under identical conditions contain equal numbers of particles. This principle is included in the ideal gas equation P V equals N R T display style PV equals nRT where n is the amount of substance the vapor density rho is given by rho equals n m v Display style rho equals n m over v. Combining these two equations gives an expression for the molar mass in terms of the vapor density for conditions of known pressure and temperature. M equals r t rho p. Display style m equals r t rho over p. Freezing point depression. The freezing point of a solution is lower than that of the pure solvent, and the freezing point depression delta t is directly proportional to the amount concentration for dilute solutions. 
When the composition is expressed as a molality, the proportionality constant is known as the cryoscopic constant Kf and is characteristic for each solvent. If W represents the mass fraction of the solute in solution, and assuming no dissociation of the solute, the molar mass is given by m equals W K F delta T display style m equals weak underscore F over delta T boiling point elevation the boiling point of a solution of an involatile solute is higher than that of the pure solvent and the boiling point elevation delta T is directly proportional to the amount concentration for dilute solutions when the composition is expressed as a molality the proportionality constant is known as the ebullioscopic constant kb and is characteristic for each solvent if W represents the mass fraction of the solute in solution, and assuming no dissociation of the solute, the molar mass is given by m equals W k b delta t display style m equals weak underscore b over delta t References External links HTML5 Molar Mass Calculator Web and Mobile Application Online Molar Mass Calculator with the uncertainty of M and all the calculations shown Molar Mass Calculator Online Molar Mass and Elemental Composition Calculator Stoichiometry add-in for Microsoft Excel for calculation of molecular weights, reaction coefficients and stoichiometry. It includes both average atomic weights and isotopic weights. Molar mass, chemistry second level course.